Welcome to Electron Line. When you're dealing with AC parallel circuits, then you find that trying to find the impedance of that circuit can be quite challenging because we have to use the equation. Of course, I'm missing an S right here, but you have to use the equation that 1 over the total impedance is equal to 1 over Z1 plus 1 over Z2 plus 1 over Z3 and so forth. So it might be easier to use admittance. We know that the admittance is equal to the inverse of the impedance, so that if you want to find the impedance, you can first find admittance and then simply take the inverse. Because for parallel branches, the admittance, the total admittance, is simply equal to the sum of the individual admittances of each of the components in a parallel circuit. So let's go ahead and use that technique to see how to find first the admittance of the circuit and then in the end, how easy it is then to find the impedance of that circuit utilizing this concept right here. So first, we're going to find the total admittance. So admittance total is equal to admittance over across the resistor plus the admittance across the inductor plus the admittance across the capacitor or for the capacitor. And so that's equal to, in the case of the resistor, that's going to be 1 over 4 plus, in the case of the inductor, is going to be 1 over J8 and in the case of the capacitor, that's going to be 1 over minus J10. Now, what we can do next is we can move the J's to the numerator. And when we do that, this is equal to, well, this would be 0 0.25, that's 1 quarter, um, minus, because when we bring the J to the numerator, it becomes a minus J, so minus J times 1 8, which is 0 0.125. And then here, when you bring the j to the numerator, it's minus, but times a minus, that becomes plus j times 0 0.1. So now this is the total admittance of the circuit. We can combine the two imaginary parts. So this is equal to 0 0.25, and that's bigger than that, so that would be minus j times 0 0.025. And then if you want to write that into its magnitude and phase angle format, we can do the following. We can say, well, that's equal to uh, 0.25 squared plus 0.025 squared is equal to that, divided by that, that's equal to, uh, this is equal to 0 0.251 with a phase angle of, that would be 110, so 0.1, take the inverse tangent of that, would be 5.71 degrees, a negative, negative 5.71 degrees. So that's equal to the admittance total, whichever format you want to put that in. So you can see that it's quite easy to find admittance for a parallel circuit. Now, can we convert that into an impedance? And the answer is certainly. So Z, the impedance, the total impedance is equal to 1 over the admittance, which is equal to 1 over 0 0.25 minus 5.71 degrees. So how do you take the inverse of that? Well, first of all, this can be written as 1 to the 0 angle, because that's simply a number. So 1 divided by 0 0.25, that's equal to 4. And then the angle becomes a positive 5.71 degree. And so that would be the impedance of the circuit, while this would be the admittance of the circuit. And so it's quite easily it's quite easily done by first finding the admittance and then reconverting back to the impedance. That's how we do that.